Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. Looks like last night, or yesterday, we leveled up our farming, so we can now craft the Scarecrow and basic fertilizer. And we leveled up foraging, so we our axe is better, Seeds, uh, trees sometimes drop seeds, we can now craft wild seeds and a field snack. So, pretty cool. And we get some pay, we get some money and payout for that as well. Uh, or actually, this is the stuff that we deposited in the box. So we got 125 gold for the uh, wild turnip, I think it was, and 30 for the algae. So it's something at least. That's not too bad. And it's now the 6th of spring. So, pretty cool. Not too bad. Uh, ooh, hello, person. Uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens, I have an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Oh, thank you, Clint. That's very nice of you. I learned how to craft a furnace. Outstanding. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. Awesome. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Have a good one, Clint. Thanks for stopping by. We've also got some new stuff here that's all ready to go. And let's go ahead and water our crops. Get the daily chores out of the way, shall we say. There we go. And I can't reach that one. There we go. All right, so we'll get those going. We also have mail. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurer's spirit. That much I can tell. If you can slay 10 slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful. Marlin. Okay, so 10 slimes. That's totally doable. So craft a, for uh, craft a furnace. Kill 10 slimes. So there's all sorts of stuff here that we can really kind of dive into right now. This game is quickly broadening. So let's see, for the furnace we need 20 copper ore and 25 stone. For the scarecrow we need 1 coal, 50 wood, and 20 fiber. And I have... Uh, what was it 20 fiber? I believe, right? Yeah, so I have everything except for the wood. So I think what we'll do, first and foremost, is we're just gonna go chop down a couple trees to get ourselves some wood. Uh, get as much as we can. I need 50. That's quite a lot of wood. Um, and actually, let's get rid of all that stuff, too. Here we go. Don't want to overexert myself, but I do want all the wood that this is going to drop for me. So that was 15 right there. Break that. There we go. We're up to 20. We're getting there. We're getting there slowly. Chop it down. Hopefully when we upgrade our tools... Oh, hello thing! I didn't even know that was there. That's pretty awesome. And we got a maple seed. So, that's good. That's that's very good, actually. That means we can now get... Oh, and there's a cave over there. We might have to explore that a little bit. Once we get enough wood... And this should be enough, I think. Once we chop down this stump, that should be more than enough wood for our purposes. Um, let's just get rid of some of these rocks and stuff as well while we're, while we're at it. Might as well. There we go. Okay. Now that used up a pretty significant amount of our energy, but I think that's okay. So, let's go ahead and make ourselves that, uh, Scarecrow. So, there we go. We'll just put that, um, right here. That's fine. And then here we'll put wood... Um, I'll probably want to plant the maple seed, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, let's plan to plant the... Oh, did I just put the maple seed? No, it's right here. Oh, I actually got three maple seeds. Nice. Okay. So, I'm thinking the maple seeds, we will plant... Uh, where can I plant them? Okay, so I can actually plant them, looks like, pretty much anywhere, as long as I'm close enough. So let's plant them spaced like that, just a couple apart. 
that'll be fine. And then the scarecrow, I'll put like right here. And that should keep the nasty stuff away from our farm, I think. So I think we're good on that count. Refill the watering can real quick. And let's, uh, let's actually head into that cave that's over here and just kind of take a look and see if there's anything cool over there. And then once we've done that, we'll head into town and uh, see about going to the museum for our Dwarven Scroll. And this cave looks to contain a whole lot of nothing. So never mind on that one. That's all right. Let's see. We'll go to the Adventurer's Guild uh, as well. Um, or maybe we should hit up the town hall. That might not be a bad idea. We could hit up the town hall, see if maybe, uh, we can find some slimes in there. We do need to kill ten slimes. So that might be a viable option. I think it was up here, if I remember correctly, right? The big community center town hall thing? No? No, maybe not. Oh, here it is. Let's just kind of peek in here. Let's see Let's see if uh, we can find some slimes and things. I'm just kind of peeking around. This thing is dead. This place is definitely worn down. It's pretty bad. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to find. Oh, there's a... Whoa. What is that? That's interesting. I have no idea what it is, or what it does, but maybe I'll learn. Maybe it's a mystery that I'll have to kind of slowly uncover as the game goes on. Let's see. Yeah, this place is a mess. Like, it's it, this place is a disaster. All right, and then there's a bulletin board with nothing on it. Okay, so whatever I was supposed to find... Oh, and we can actually complete that quest, get a little bit of stuff. And then, was it, hmm, there was one for, there was one for exploring the town hall, I thought, but now I'm not seeing it. I don't know. Let's head to the museum and see what uh, Gunther can tell us about that scroll. I believe it's this way. And then we could also quick run to the mines and uh, try and take out a few slimes to complete that quest as well. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Um, do, do. Let's see, this way, I believe. I'm still trying to remember where everything is. I think the museum is like right here. There we go. Hello, museum. Hello, Gunther. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Well, I've got something to brighten your day, my friend. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Take a look at that, Gunther. Tell me what you think. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Yes, it is. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's fair, sort of. If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Okay, I think I will probably donate that scroll then, my friend. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I don't speak Dwarven. All right, donate to museum. That, let's put it right here. Journal updated. Okay, cool. So that was the new quest. And I thought he was coming to tell me something. Let's see here, archeology, span 250 gold for that. I will take it. We're finally getting a little bit of our funds back after that very, very expensive backpack, which pretty much drained us completely. Um, but I think at this point we should probably head into the mines and see if we can knock off some slimes so we can uh, get initiated into the Adventurer's Guild, because that sounds like a lot of fun. I do love adventuring. 
Let's see. That should be like up here, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. There's just so much to do in this game. I mean, there's the farming, there's the fishing, there's adventuring, there's the social aspect of it, you know, making friends and taking a wife and... I mean, there's just so much to do. Who are you? Oh, Maru. Yes, I remember you, Maru. Man, lots and lots to do, that's for sure. Okay, so the mines should be up... Uh, actually, you know what? I don't think we've explored over here now that I'm thinking about it. Let's just take a peek. Let's take a peek over here and see if there's anything really worthwhile. Doesn't really look like it. Looks like we just got some trees, maybe a little bit of fishing, but uh, nothing, nothing too extravagant. I think I'm just going to go ahead and head into the mines. I was hoping maybe we'd find some, some nifty stuff, but uh, it is what it is. That's fine. Okay. So into the mines we go. And I think we can just take the elevator straight down to level 5, right? Yeah, cool. So now we can kill these slimes. Uh, definitely want to be upgrading my sword here in the relatively near future. There we go. One slime down. Many more to go. Many, many, many more to go. Uh, let's break our way over here. That's probably a little easier than trying to... Uh, Go around the long way. There we go. Um, not seeing a ladder down, though. And the box returns. Hmm. Well, guys, I'm going to do a little adventuring in the mines here. I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I found something pretty cool. An earth crystal, whatever that is. I have no idea what it's for, but it's pretty nifty. It's pretty nifty indeed. I'm pretty excited about it. Maybe that's an artifact as well? No, it's a mineral, but I can take it to Gunther and donate it to the museum, so that's pretty awesome. I'm going to keep looking around here, guys. I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. I just found a geode, so the local blacksmith can open it for me is what it says. Um, why don't we try that out? Why don't we see what we can uh, do with that? That'd be pretty cool. Um, what was it, Geode? Yeah. Uh, and actually, we need to go that way to donate that other thing to the museum anyway. Who are you? Is that Abigail? Someone playing flute. Interesting. Okay. So, let's see. And my energy's super low, by the way, because all the mining, all the breaking rocks and things, yeah. It'll chew through your stamina pretty quick, so uh, we'll have to kind of be cognizant of that. But... I think we should be all right. Let's head down to the blacksmith. Uh, see if I remember where I'm going. Let's see. Let's just do this. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. So I think I need to go this direction. And this will take me where I need to go, right? Yeah, there we go. Because here's the general store. Speaking of which... Oh, and there's a new thing. I need a daffodil to rub on my sore, on my sore hip. Please bring it as soon as you can. I don't have any daffodils, my friend, and I don't have any way to get them to you in time. Oh, new backpack. 10,000 gold for another backpack. That's a lot of money. Um, oh, and it's already 7.30 p.m., so the blacksmith and the museum are both going to be closed right now. That's too bad. Well, tell you what, guys. Let's just go ahead and call it a night. And then we'll wake up in the morning and run that stuff over there as well. I think that's probably our best bet. So, let's put some stuff in here. Um, I think I'll sell my green algae. And I think the rest of it I'll hold on to. I might need it. Let's see. So, into this chest goes... Oh, actually, I can sell my parsnips as well. I'll throw those in there too. There we go. Those can also be sold. And then we've got the geode, copper ore. Yep, this stuff I think we'll just put all in here. And that should do. Uh, actually, let's put these guys over there. All right, let's go ahead and take a little nap. Yes, we'll go to sleep. And we leveled up our farming. 
Or no, we didn't. We got 70 for the turnip and 30 for the LG. So we got 100 gold with the goods that we sold. And it is now the next day. All right, let's see here. So all of our crops, we're going to have to water again. Oh, what was that? Oh, potatoes. Can I plant potatoes? Can I like... Oh no, I don't want to eat it. I want to plant it. So it doesn't look like I can plant them. Um, but that's okay. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and water all of our remaining crops. And we'll sell our potatoes. Ooh, and we've got mail. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the small in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. M. Rasmodius, wizard. Hmm. That's interesting. So it's over here. I gotta figure out how to get over there, but uh, we'll definitely check that out. Yeah, let's go talk with the wizard. Um, and actually, let's just go ahead and dump our potatoes in there right away. And they'll be sold when the day ends. Let's see, what's the best way to actually get over there? Can I go this way? I think I can go through the tall grass. Maybe. Um, do do. It's like a maze. It's very maze-like. There's just so much stuff, like, everywhere. This whole thing, I really need to take the time to just clear it out at some point. Uh, but that's going to be... That's a pretty significant project, guys, and I think you realize that. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab our scythe and just chop our way through. There we go. Um... Did we make it? I think... I think we're through. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So this should lead to the wizard tower, like, over... Oh, I bet this tells us. Farm Pelican Town. Okay. But I want to go to the wizard tower. I'm guessing this path maybe leads there? Ooh. Is this, like, a gypsy? You're new. Oh, you can buy stuff here. Barbed hook. Huh. Interesting. Rare seed. Hmm. So there's some interesting stuff there. Okay, cool. Good to know that that exists. And there's the wizard's tower. Let's go check that out. Let's see here. Hello, wizard. Person guy. Ooh, he's an interesting looking character. Quite the guy, he's got a magic circle. Ah, come in. You, I like your hat, wizard. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediary between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred ch- ah, you get the point. Yeah, so you're a powerful wizard. And you, Wells Knight, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Ooh. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! <gasps> the slime. The little green man. The alien. The thing. That's definitely what I saw. You've seen one before, haven't you? Yes, as a matter of fact, I have. I've killed several of them, I think. They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones, and for some reason they refuse to speak with me. Hmm, interesting. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Okay. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here, I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. I wish I could do that. I want to be able to teleport. That looks like fun. Can I please teleport? I wonder if I can learn... I wonder if I can learn magic. I found the note. Are you going to tell me what it says? The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Okay. 
Interesting. Hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? Sniff, sniff. Is he sniffing the pot? Aha! Or is he sniffing the scroll? Come here! Okay, I'm... What, what do you want, wizard? My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Uh, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, Mr. Wizard Guy. Okay, if you say so, I'm just going to trust a random stranger who gives me a potion and obviously deals with magic things. Somehow this doesn't seem like a good life choice. And uh, now I'm apparently on drugs or something. That's not good. This is, whoa. I'm, I feel rather ill. I feel very ill. Things are happening. Hmm. Okay. Am I, am I, what, what happened? You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Okay. So I know forest magic now, apparently. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. So if I find the scrolls, I can read them, apparently. Um, can I, like, chop those down? Yes, I can. Sweet. So I guess we'll head... Um, do, do, do. Oh, there's some stuff down there, too. Can I enter into, like, any of these random buildings and look for more scrolls? No. So I'm thinking it's pretty much just that one that was at the town center. Maybe we'll find more there. I don't know. Either way. Either way, it's all good. So I'm thinking, at this point, what I should probably do is head back. Actually, no. We should go to the museum and try and sell some of that stuff. Ooh, here's stuff that can be foraged. What are you? You are spring onions. Can I go down here? No. There's some... Pretty bad stuff down there, though. I'll take the onions, though. Not too bad. I can probably sell those for cash money. Oh, and actually, here's a whole bunch more. Hello. I will take all of you. Thank you. That's ten onions. That means if they sell for even, like, 30 apiece, that's going to be, like, 300. That's a pretty decent amount. I'm actually quite happy with that. Uh, okay, so... Let's see. Now I gotta figure out how to get out of here. I think it's this way. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm gonna head back to the... Have I been here? Have I been in here? It's locked. Only Leah's friends can enter. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the uh, museum, guys. And I'll be back with you in just a minute. Alright, guys. I am back. We're at the museum. And I wanna try and donate this... Um, Earthstone, which I think I'll put, like, right here. And then... That's pretty much it, I guess. I guess we didn't really get a reward for that. I also want to go into the blacksmith. We found this geode that I want to try and open. So, let's see. Oh, process geodes. Here we go. Just place your geodes on my anvil, and I'll give them a good whack. 25 gold per. Okay. I'll take it. What'd we get? We got clay. So, that was totally not worth 25 gold, but, uh, you know what? It's okay. It's fine. Uh, so let's see. For upgrading tools, I will require five copper bars. I'm gonna need a lot of copper in order to make the furnace. So it's gonna be a while before we can upgrade any tools, it looks like. I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day in the mines killing some slimes and stuff, so I'm going to do that, guys, for a while, and I'll come back to you in just a little while. All right, guys, I am back. So it's 11.30 at night. We've got our journal. We did manage to finish the uh, quest there for slimes. We also found some new stuff that we can see about maybe donating to the museum, and I got enough uh, copper ore 
to make the furnace. So I think we'll tackle that tomorrow. But for right now, I am definitely out of time for this episode. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.